welcome back to the second part of the video where I'll show you how you can configure your SQL Server and the Node.js application to work together. For this very simple demonstration I created a very stupid store procedure. Basically it's a store procedure that will take two random numbers and return the sum. Now obviously this can be done on JavaScript level, it doesn't even have to reach back and let alone the database, but the concept is generally the same using procedures, so I didn't really want to complicate things here. As far as our Node.js application, this is pretty much a basic structure that I start with. Uh, I point global base there to dear name, I use Express Web Server over HTTP, I use path for a static folder mapping. So basically we can access uh, JavaScript and images and style and everything else on the in the subfolders. I also use body parser for forwarding uh, back and forth data in the body. Basically kind of like special parameters. I start the app, I start the server, I use port 453 for this example and I also use a separate file for routes so I can Get a better look at them. I set a body parser, I set up the application to use the routes, I set the static folder and server is listening. Now we just have to add support for the database. You can start this by running const msql which will require the msql module and for this I opened git bash and I ran npm install MS SQL and what I got returned was 70 added packages which allow me to use the Microsoft database. Before we actually connect it we have to define some parameters and let's just go with, with this and inside this JSON object we can define the server which in our case is 116.203.210.173 uh, besides this, we also need the port, which is default one, 1433. We need the user that's, that should be connected, and for this example, again, I will use super admin user SA uh, for accessing the database with the password previously mentioned, password 01. This is the dumbest password you can possibly have, so don't use that. We will connect to the database test DB which we created in the last video and I'll add a few extra things here and I'll skip the video to when it's done. Okay, so this is our configuration file. I added some extra things for timeout and the options there we go. And now we actually have to connect the database. And for this, we can use MS SQL Connect. We will use the DB config for the setup. And when that's done, we can then create a pool for our requests. We can basically just copy this that we would use separately that the server is connected and we return pool at this point. And of course, let's just add a catch to this function error console log fail to open a connection. To the database. All right, I think we are set up now. As far as the uh, front end of the application, it's just basic HTML file the title and the jQuery script. Also, a script of our own for the get some ID. So basically, it's just a two number inputs that you can type in any number. You press a button, and the result is stored in stored in the result. And the script pretty much go something like this. When you press a button, we'll take value from number one and number two and create an Ajax request to this 
random row that I just picked out. So basically we just send to add first number, second number, and we get the result in the return. We use a post type request, it's JSON data, we want JSON back. When this is done, if we get an empty object, that means something went wrong. If we don't get an empty object, we can then type out the sum in the result. Of course, there's the error function as well, just in case. And that's basically it. Now all we have to do on the back end is to configure this route. And we can do that similarly to how we set up the first route. So we just need to router post this case since we are trying to post this. Add number one, number two. It's a function of request response. Add this. And now we just have to type in MS SQL request variable. So MS SQL request equals new. We use this MS SQL request to type in inputs. Sorry. Input. Our value is in the database number one which is a type of MSSQL int. And we want to get the data from our variable. So I'll just parse int request params num1. We'll do the same thing for number two as both are our inputs. And then we will execute dbo add numbers store procedure that we created and then what we want with the data set that we will get back is check if data set and the data set record sets and data set record sets length is bigger than zero which in which case we know that some data was returned. We can then just response. Obviously just 200, everything went okay. We can send the data set, record set, first one. Otherwise we can send response status 400, send and just type in some random stuff. Some went wrong of course we can then add a catch to this function error res status 400 and we send the error back so we can inspect it later I think we are about done with this function so let's just see that everything is working Let's try running the server. Server listening at port 453. And here we have the page. If I type in number five and number six, I press this button, I get nothing. Now the question is, why did that happen? Okay, we can see the issue is here. Oh, that's correct. I forgot one thing and to, that's to include the MS SQL here as well. If I save this, refresh the server, press this button again, and there we go, we have the sum. 5 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, quick math. There we go. If you want to inspect this, we can add a breakpoint right after this done function. And when we get the sum, this will break point here and we can inspect the record set. And we can see the record set zero contains sum two, four, six, just like how our parameters number one and number two wanted to. And in summary, this is basically how you can connect your SQL Server database, even if it's on Linux, to a Node.js application. So basically for a couple euros a month, you can have a pretty decent Node.js plus Microsoft SQL database server up and running and create great websites. 
all right i hope you enjoyed the video learned something new and i'll see you in the next one